Normally I would say it's a mild and easy going Monday morning, but Erin, I've got a book in there that I brought in. If you'll bring it to me, it says when God shows up and God shows up every single day. This book was written by my dear friend, Mike Smith, and Mike Smith will be with us in the near future. He, uh, they were going to be here, but we had a little knee surgery going on with uh, our other partner in prayer, and so he didn't get to come. So today, we're going to feature Miss Loretta Lynn's daughter, Sissy, and we're going to do that because Miss Sissy is fighting cancer. When you look at the family, uh, Loretta Lynn had a whole bunch of kids. Sadly, she lost one son young, and then <clears throat> she lost Betty Sue, her oldest child, before she passed away. And now Sissy, for the second time, is fighting cancer. So we want to ask everybody to please pray for her. And when you pray, Erin, come here. This is Erin, guys, and this is Erin who's in charge of sound. And today, we're having some issues, aren't we? It just makes your job a little more interesting, doesn't it? We don't have any issues. We don't have any issues. We got them all fixed, see? We, <laughs> we got them good. We got them good. Sometimes it takes a little ingenuity, a little creativity to make it work. I want to remind y'all, this book is available in Ball Ground. Mike Smith ships them any and everywhere, and you can just pick up the phone and uh, reach him by phone, or you can go to Amazon and buy this book, God Keeps Showing Up. And we hope that God is going to show up in Sissy's life because Sissy is such a sweet, sweet... And there, look at this. See, I, I, this is that day. You know that day when your hair needs done? Today's that day. <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy Monday. But I can guarantee you today, whatever you're facing, see that, turn to him. This book came about, and I wanna read you a little bit of this. In my life and in the life of my family, God keeps showing up. There were times when I could not sense his presence, I could not see him or hear him. In those times, I kept asking the question, where's God? When the storm was over, when I came out of the valley, when I looked back, I could see that God had been with me the entire way. Just because I couldn't sense him or feel him or fear him, that did not mean that he was not with me. And so each and every one of you, I was reading this weekend, so many people having so many problems, so many issues, so many things going on, and you're like, okay, you gotta convince everybody that God will show up. There are times that we think, He's not here, and why did he put me in this position, and why am I facing what I'm facing? And then all of a sudden, the wind kind of calms, and the clouds roll away, and the sun comes back out, and life is different. So it is, uh, it is truly God's plan, and sometimes we look at it and go, seriously? I was in a meeting last week, and uh, I hope that I can get this gentleman to come on the program we were talking about the loss of a child. And he said, you and I have something in common. And I said, we do? And he said, yes. And he told me the story of how his young daughter died. Oh my gosh. It made what I, go, I went through, I, I don't want to use the word easier because no loss of a child is easier. But his daughter ended up with a flesh-eating disease that literally took all of her arms, legs, it was horrible. And so when you think that you've hit the bottom and you think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get through this? There's somebody out there with a bigger struggle, a meaner struggle, and a struggle that is going to take longer for them. And when he was telling me the story of his daughter, I thought, oh my gosh. You know, you get that phone call, there's been a horrific car accident, you lost a loved one. It's instantaneous, you deal with it what they did, and he told me the story of how his wonderful, beautiful wife took care of their daughter until the very end. And I thought, wow. So it left me, I left that meeting and I felt a little differently. And I thought, you know, just when I thought it was so hard, so impossible, it really wasn't. It really wasn't. Am I strong enough to deal with what his wife dealt with? I would hope so. I would hope that each of us would find that strength. but. When he shared his story, I was just sitting there, wow, wow, wow. And his daughter was much younger than mine. She didn't get to live life as full as mine did. And I thought, you know, yeah, God did show up. And he showed up in the grace that his, his wife gave. 
by taking care of their daughter until the very, very end. So um, when you're facing something tough, don't let it get you down and don't think that God isn't going to show up because he will. Well, let me show you how God really showed up. Her name is Zanna Jordan and y'all love her and I know you do. And she's been here with us quite a few times since she was a little baby. She's sat here in a high chair. She has been running around the set. She's done all kinds of things to bring joy to so many people. And we're going to share a few of her pre-Easter photos because anytime she's around, it's a photo opportunity. And then we're going to share a birthday that we had down in Forsyth County. And this is, it's so crazy because our company has 5,000 agents. And of those 5,000 agents, we have some that are just absolutely amazing. We have some that are just laid back, easy going. We have some that are pure hustlers. I mean, they are on the go everywhere, anywhere, you name it, you're going to run into them. But nowhere do we have anybody as amazing as Gilmer County's Cindy West. So congratulations to Cindy for her great awards this weekend. And congratulations to Gilmer County for bringing in this amazing woman who excels at everything she does. And on top of that, she's a really, really good person. So, so congratulations, Cindy, and uh, more power to you. She is absolutely amazing, amazing. So we're going to share these photos of Zanna now and of, uh, you know, there's a, there's a little boy in there that's really special and growing so much. And when I look at that, is that not precious, y'all? Just so sweet and so good. And, and that, I tell you, a, she is a, a force to be reckoned with and uh, loves flowers, loves outside, loves playing in the dirt and uh, just, just a monkey, just a pure, pure monkey, but so much fun and so sweet and loves everybody, never meets a stranger, which kind of worries me a little bit. But, and there's that little Betty that's growing and growing and growing and growing. It's crazy how time just flies by. It absolutely flies by. And here is Kayla on her birthday. She is from Columbia, South America. And let me tell you about that cake. Let me tell you about that cake. It came from a bakery in Cumming, and I've never had anything with icing like this. I swear, I think it was just Cool Whip. And this is one of our meetings. This is where we were talking about new construction. And I know everybody is screaming that inventory is so low with good prices. We are going to have a new listing here in Gilmer County. And it's going to be around 300000 and has a fenced-in yard. Going to be perfect if you have animals or kids. And this is when one of Ball Ground's finest was honored. And when they were reading his awards, I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anybody with so many awards in my life. And uh, he had award after award after award after a very, very good military career. He did three tours of duty in Iraq. Think about that, three tours of duty. We know a lot of people who did one tour of duty and sadly did not come home. And uh, as always, we salute our military and we say thank you every opportunity we get, every opportunity we get. Well today, because Sissy is facing what she's facing, I really think we need to, um, to honor her and to, to think about, could our prayers make a difference for her? I hope so, I hope so, because this is our second bout with cancer. And often we know that the second one is a tougher, it's tougher, it's harder, it's really tough to get through. But before we do that, we're going to share something that the guys have control of. They now have the new edited, uh, mastered, mixed version of Mountain Life. And so you're going to get to hear that. We're going to go to a commercial break, and then we're going to go to one of my favorite trips ever to Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. You're going to get to meet Sissy Lynn. And think about it, she is Loretta's young daughter, and I hope, I hope that Sissy makes it through this cancer scare, and I hope that the doctors at Vanderbilt can bring her out of this. So everybody, please put Sissy on your prayer list, and, um, and also the rest of her family, because she has two, um, two sisters, Peggy and Patsy, and then she has a brother. So, so pray for them, and hopefully this family will get through this cancer scare. Here we go.